literally. This is Joy Shot Jewels here from the Big Happiness Experiment and I am here today with a fantastic biohack for your brain. One of my Joy Shots and hopefully I will do this in six minutes because that is my intention. Six mad minutes to make a difference, that's what MAD stands for, to you in your life. So do you have, I'm going to come in a little bit closer, do you have that inner voice inside your head that tells you that you're not good enough? Do you? I'm sure you do, don't you? That inner critic, that inner voice that tells you, oh no, don't do that. Oh no, don't put that on. Oh gosh, no, don't put, oh that's terrible. Oh, you're so hopeless, you're worthless, you're no good. I'm sure you've heard all of these things in your own head before. And what I want to do today in this quick video, in this big biohack for your brain, is to actually give you a way of understanding that voice and perhaps not listening to it as much. So you have this inner critic, it is part of you, it, it's the part of your brain, your mind that actually wants to keep you safe, it doesn't like anything that's unfamiliar, um, anything that you're doing that's new or different, it will try and stop you, it will try and keep you back in its, fam in its familiar, I can't even say that, that familiar place <laughs> um, because your brain and your mind and your nervous system don't like change. So obviously um, at this current time we are in April 2020 and there is a global pandemic happening so fear is rife in the world. So therefore these inner critics are absolutely loud and blaring out. So what I want to do is I want to say to you, you can identify your inner critic and perhaps give it a bit of a name, give it a character. And if we can do that, we can externalise this inner critic and bring it out of this inside place. And we can then start to maybe have a bit of a, a two-way conversation. So I've got some little things here. So this is a sort of a, a visual for you of what your inner critic might look like. And of course it speaks to you, doesn't it? Oh no, you can't do that. Oh no, oh no, don't do that. Oh, you look awful. Oh, you're just hopeless at this. Oh, there's no point in you even trying. Yes. So that is what your inner critic voice can be like. It can be quite horrible and nasty. But I have to introduce you to another character. And that is this one, okay? Now this is my inner friend. This is the compassionate voice that tells me I am good, yeah? I am worthy. I don't need any verification from anybody else that I am enough. And these two little characters sit on my shoulders. <laughs> um, and everybody has these characters without really realising it. But most of the time, they have no idea that this one is here and they listen to this one. So my um, challenge to you, my biohack for you for today is to say, let's bring them out, bring them to the surface, sit them on your shoulder and identify them. Now, when I say identify them, give them a name. Yeah. So your inner critic, and if you're doing this with children, which please do, because it will be so good for the children, um, get them, you can call that your inner meanie. Yeah. And your inner meanie is the one that controls your bad habits and all of those things that keep you sort of small. Those nasties, as I call them, those are your negative habits. Give your inner meanie a name. So give it a name, give it a, an image, and draw it, draw it on a piece of paper. You know, you could go, lovely drawing, I know, very big shoulders, but you could go this far, couldn't you? You could draw a picture of yourself, obviously, hopefully it might be a bit better than mine. And on one shoulder, you can have the inner critic, the inner meanie, and actually draw what it looks like, yeah? What does it look like? What's, what sort of character is it? And then give it a name. And then on the other side, draw your inner friend. 
the one that is compassionate and kind and caring and loving to you. When you do that, you externalise these voices and you actually give a voice to your inner friend that perhaps it never had before. And when you notice your inner critic, your inner meanie is starting to tell you things and put you down, you can go, it's okay, it's okay. Your inner friend has got this from now on. And it is such a wonderful way to help you with your um, boosting your self-worth, boosting your happiness, boosting your confidence, boosting your resilience. So my name is Jules Mitchell. I am from The Big Happiness Experiment. This has been a brilliant biohack for your brain and body and I will sign off from our six bad minutes today and say cheers. If you've enjoyed this video, then I would highly recommend you check out the courses that we have available at the moment. On the Big Happiness website, you will find links to any courses that we've got available. Two that I would highly recommend to you are one, um, Hardwiring Happiness. That is a seven day experiment into learning how you can start to hardwire your brain and your nervous system for happiness. It is jam-packed with tools, with techniques, with knowledge, with the science of self. So that's number one. Number two, if you fancy a deeper dive and a much more experiential experience, then I would recommend BOOST to you. Now, BOOST stands for Biohacks to Optimise and Organise Self-Exploration and Transformation. Basically, it's about helping you to build real resilience um, amid fear and uncertainty. So if you're ready to make sense of your thinking, your behaviours, your negative patterns, uh, those patterns of protection that I like to call them, um, then Boost would be a good place for you to go and uh, explore yourself. So have a look at the links and I hope to see you there.